Hello, hedgehogs. Okay, so today we're going to look at time again. Now, last week we looked at o'clock, quarter past, half past, quarter two, and then back to o'clock. Okay? So anything from here around to the six, we say half past. And anything from here round back up to o'clock is something two. Okay? Because it's the second half of the clock. Now, today, we're going to look at intervals. So, as you can see, around the edge of the clock, we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And that represents the amount of minutes in an hour, one hour. So, when the, the minute hand goes right away around one hour, it's 60 minutes. Okay? And these little dots in between the two bigger numbers represent one minute, okay? So we're gonna look at this time, intervals of time, okay? So if I move the hand, at the moment we're on nine o'clock, okay? Big hand at the top, o'clock, little hand, our hand on the nine, we're on nine o'clock, okay? If I move this round to the four <clears throat> or the 20, okay? That's 20 minutes past nine, because the little hand has just gone past the nine, okay? So that would be 20 minutes past nine, okay? If I moved it to the five, which is 25, it would be 25 minutes past nine again, okay? Because we still haven't reached the halfway round, the 30 minutes. If I move it there, we know it's half past nine, okay? We did that, it's halfway round, we did that last week. If I was to move the minute hand to here on the 40 minutes, some would say that it's 40 minutes past nine, okay? 40 minutes past nine, which is correct. But when we get, like I said, when we get to here and back around, it's always two, because we're now closer to the 10 than we are the nine. So. We need to work out, using your number bonds to 60 that we did last week with Mr. Jones, you need to work out how many minutes are left between here and back to o'clock. So let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20. So now it becomes 20 to 10. 20 minutes to 10. Okay, because there's 20 minutes left. Okay. If I was to move it to here... This minute hand has now gone right the way around to 55. So we need to fight, work out now how many minutes left from here back to the top, back to o'clock. So let's count. Five. So now it is five minutes to ten. And if I move it back up to here, it's now become ten o'clock. Okay? So have a little look at the worksheet and see if you can have a go at the five-minute intervals. Good luck!